Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've got something new today. Well, I'll say new, they're new to me. Um, three plants purchased from a buyer I don't normally buy from. Uh, glad I took a chance because the two miniatures actually do look exactly like it said on the tin. Um, what we've got is a Telomnia species, and I don't like the Telomnia species. I've stopped growing, I've still got a couple, but I would offload them because I don't like the way they grow. They spread everywhere and grow all over the place, and I never have much success in flowering them. But this one clumps, as you can see. It's a very big clump. It's um, and apparently it specifically likes a cork mount, and I don't like these cork mounts. But to be fair, it's well established. It's growing well. It's got new new growth down the bottom here. And it's got plenty going on in there. So, and it's called Tolumnia triquetrum. And beautiful flower. Much bigger than a species Tolumnia that I've seen before. Less the photo, of course. Maybe think it was big and it wasn't, but. Um, it's a lovely coloured flower and believe it or not this one grows in Jamaica and it's found on trees near flowering flowering yes I don't think that's the right word flowing water because water can't flower it grows on trees near flowing water and um, there's no pseudobulbs like all telumnias it's just a minute they're just a fan it says it grows warm to cool um, Flower spike can be about 10 inches. That, that's its mature growth size. So, um, but one seven inch fan can have up to 15 flowers on it, apparently. Likes bright light, likes heavy humidity. And lots of air movement. So like a good many more of them. Also, it'll grow supposedly in hot to warm temperatures that won't happen in my greenhouse because the warmest I suppose it doesn't drop below 16 and stuff that's not considered by some to be even warm but that's what my warm house is at so it's going to go in there and I'm going to hang it up on the shelf with the other telomnias I've got up there the other one this is Bobby's fault blame it on Bobby it's a Lepanthes caledixion and it's in a good shape, but I don't like the, um, I don't like what it's on. And I'm gonna take it off straight away as per following instructions, because it'll be quicker for it to pick up, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, that can be found in Colombia and Ecuador. Again, it comes in the wet montane forests and miniature isn't the word for it. You need a magnifying glass to see the flowers. Grows warm or cool. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And the next one I got, purely on a whim, because again, I've got flowers with leaves with cut off bits on, but it was the orchid I wanted and the leaves looked in good shape. I haven't let you, looked at the, um, Root. I dare say they'll not be good but um, I wanted this because it's a purely yellow Dracula oh no we've got some we've got some rough ones but we've got some um, yeah we've got some really rough ones in the middle as per I wasn't not surprised that was what I expected so um, 
but I'll put a pop-up of this flower as well because it is delightful and on there we've got new roots trying to grow so this will be a good time to put it in some decent mix instead of that rubbish um, and I'm going to try something different as well which I was reading about yesterday about um, my Chestertonii and trying something different but I'll show you what I'm going to try in a minute rather than and I'll tell you as we go but this one we're going to leave he's going to go in the warm house this one we're going to take off it's not very well attached I don't think it's been on there long and um, I've got a mount ready for it and we are going to mount him if I can find where I've put my wretched scissors why is it whenever I put things down I can never find them so it's only been held on here with wire so I don't think it's even been on here for long I don't even need scissors I don't need scissors because I can just untwist that that's all I need to do You go in the rubbish bag because you can't go in the recycling. There you go. That'll tell you how how long it's been on there. And that the answer to that is not long. So we're not going to have any trouble with um, roots here. I'm just going to get this moth off. It'll be so easy to do. It'll be ridiculous. It's got some good root actually, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, get back over there. But, mm, I'm gonna take that one off because that's a dead leaf. I don't want you growing with a dead leaf. So we've got, I just love the way these, these grows, a disc, like where are you, there you are, a disc. Um, rock leaves. See, and the middle sits right in the centre. Diddy, diddy little thing. Let's see if we can do that. There you are. Come on, focus on it. Such a tiny flower, but such pretty leaves. And it's never going to be giant, but <clears throat> I'm just, I was just attracted to those um, leaves. So, that is what we're going to do. And we're going to put some Nice bit in there. Save you for an outside bit. Nice bit in there. Oh, would have if I took the zoom off because you won't be able to have seen that, will you? Let's try that again. We're going to put some. I've put some moss in there. And we're going to put it on here because they like moisture, the pansies. And I've learned a bit more about them listening to Bobby. They're just tiny, never interested me before. But when they're there, you go. and what I'm going to do. It's sticking smack bang in the centre like that. His, his roots are going out either way. And then we'll just put a bit of padding around his outside. That's what we'll do. And because we've got some longer bits, what I can do is sort of fold them over. So 
tell you what I didn't do, tell you what I didn't do, that's naughty, isn't it? Hydrogen peroxide. Wash it off as well. Wash those petals off. There. Let them sit that dip is the perfect place for him to sit. Perfecto. And he's going to sit there like that. You're going to go round under that one. And that one's going to sit behind you. And then this bit folded in half will sit behind you too. Because they like it. Chatty bits there. Okay. Now, I did bring that in this morning because I bought some new stuff and I want to use the elastic on this. It's like string elastic that I buy from the, I was going to say hardware shop, but I'd be lying, wouldn't I, because you don't buy, it's a haberdashery. And why is it when you've got something like this, that's got two ends, that you can never find one of them? There, got you. Got you, got you, there you go. You come out of there. And there. I always end up with a flipping mess. There you go, that's what I wanted you to do. Because we don't need a giant piece for this, so I'm gonna do that. Please don't tangle up around my Dracula. And then I am going put that straight back in the bag. And straight back in there where it's meant to live. Instead of popping it down somewhere like I usually do. And I'm coming back and thinking, now where did I put that? And the simple answer would have to be, I really haven't got a clue because I forget. I figured at my age I'm allowed to. I had to use my brain far too much at work. And now I only use it for important things like um, or kids and dogs and things because I can. What this might prove tricky to do is actually get a bit of the elastic around the top. But we shall see once I hold that bit. The plan is to go round with that bit, hold it on and come over the top like that. Hold it on again, just like that. Except I let it go too soon, because I want it up that side. And it's quite secure, so all you need to do is pick up the bit of elastic and if you didn't catch what you want underneath it, just stick it underneath like that. There he is. The Pansies Calodictium. And then he and he, this little beauty next door, We're going into the warm house. I think, am I going to put that? Where am I going to put that? The pansies. Did I decide I could put that in the. Yeah, maybe. Although. Oh, I've got space for it in here. 
don't know. Might try it in the warm to see what happens. Yeah, I might try that in the warm. What we need to do now is get this little beauty sorted. This is a, I think this, this one's cold. I think it's cool. I think he's cold, this one. Deltoidia. Oh no. Yes, he is. He's cold. Cold growing. Cloud forests of Ecuador. Grows in shade. I grow all my Draculas in shade anyway. Um, most of them don't like the light. And they don't need the light to flower, so um, I don't do it. In the winter, they're higher up because um, obviously there's not as much light, and I put them up hang them up from the roof then, but I don't do it all through the summer because they grow in shade. Some of them are found, they were all found under heavy cover. So this one is also known as the um, tri Triangular um, Dracula. But what we're going to do, if I can reach this part, is another one of those. And we're going to do, like we're doing a suet pudding, people. We're going to line the basket and then, reminds me of a summer fruits pudding where you line a pudding, line it with bread, I think you do that. And then you, um, put it in a basin, turn it upside down, fill up the middle with all this fruit and then um, cook it. Seal it at the top with more bread. What I did once was, I had some clotted cream, so I put a great big wadge of clotted cream in the middle. So when it oozed out, when you cut it, and it oozed out with all this clotted cream, oh my word, it was to die for. It was to die for. Um, it was amazing. Actually, now you've made me think about it. I'd like a roast dinner. I don't want to go to the pub. I might end up having to cook one. It's just something I don't do. All right, so now we have got a basket with a basket of moss inside. Now, what we're going to do is put various things in here and um, They did suggest I put in, um, what's that white stuff? Perlite as well. Charcoal definitely, because charcoal is really good for Draculas. But what it needs in the middle of this shell is bark in the mix. Now I've got Draculas growing in bark and they do it very well. Obviously it's not just plain bark. I put a bit of moss in, but I've never put, do you know what? You've got this nice size polystyrene lumps here. I could take them out and use them. But I think mine's a bit finer than this. And I think like recycling. I've not yet managed to get hold of a good size perlite that I wanted. I don't want the granular stuff. I want the I don't want the giant stuff. I just want bigger pieces. And these are bigger pieces, so we can use this. And um I've got a Dracula Gigas. I think I showed you the one with the and I've got a Chimera showed you the gigas with the um, spikes on this. Gigas spikes always grow upwards. Flower spikes in excess sometimes of 18 inches. Um, and it's in a basket. I don't know why I put it in a basket knowing that it wouldn't grow down. But I didn't because I like these mesh, these baskets. 
they're really good and um, they grow and because you're putting in you've got the moss on the outside what you're not doing is leaving them in wet soggy conditions um, the theory is that they like to be loose around the roots they don't like to be stodgy and I think that's why a couple of mine aren't doing so once I've got this mixed up on the go I am going to do some repotting because I've got repotting to do of um, Dracula's I am going to do some repotting don't put it on there and that's not got any medium bark in it I want some with medium bark in people what have I got back there Maybe I'm dreaming, maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe this is the one I want with some medium bits in. This is the kiddie, not you. You've got fine in. I want the medium, but I'll have a bit of your moss if you don't mind. Because. Oh, I don't need to put too much in there. Shuffle a bit of new up in there. Just take the bit from the top. And that has got everything in it bar the stones, which I'm going to put at the bottom of there. Like so. And then this has got put a little bit in the bottom sit you on top and then wedge you round it with the bits of moss and the charcoal get all inside I don't want you falling out the holes please and I'm not going to compact it down either what I am also going to do is make sure it's got some more moss at the top Be nice and tidy in there. Because we want to give him the chance to grow and have those um, roots spread out. Or get those roots to grow on that are already there. I wish people would put proper labels on plants. It's not much to ask when you're a nursery and you're selling it. Rather than tatty labels. It's annoying. One of my pet hates actually. Right, you go back down there where you came from. And then we'll do a label. Just stick them there. And then we shall wait and see how this one grows on. Battery's running out. Thank you, label printer. You're so kind. You eat batteries. I don't mind if I used you a lot, but I don't. 
And then we'll put today's date on that table as well. Because Which is 22nd or 23rd? 23rd Sunday, isn't it? 23rd. Eight. Twenty. That's not working very well. Another one up there. Oh, they all moved everything, didn't they? I'm going to put that on, the, on my notes when I go indoors. There. And we need to squidge him a bit. But not a lot because his roots were squidgy anyway. So you want to do a bit squidgy. You want to do you a bit squidgy. And then we'll give you a bit squidgy because we didn't wash you this morning either. And then what we'll do is we'll put our cow mouth. Should have sprayed his roots, shouldn't I? Never mind. Put him in there like that. And he'll be fine. And there we have it. Those three little beauties, which I now need to put up. Um, Tell you what we'll look at while we're here because we didn't do it the other day because it's in this greenhouse and not the other one is our Dracula Solii is currently maintaining you see all her flowers lost a few but currently maintaining because it's in the path of the fogger it isn't at the moment because the fogger's not on but, um, where's the other one gone? There it is. There it is. They've got this far before, mind you. Don't get too excited. And then they've gone brown. And Bella has aborted. Got to the point the buds were on the end. I had closed flower buds. Almost. I suppose they were three quarters of the way to, um, being open and turned its toes up. I touched the buds because I thought they're going the wrong, they're the wrong colour. And you just, bud came away in your hand. So yet again, Bella. And Bella's going to be the first one I try in this new stuff. Um, but that particular one was a fairly new one. I bought it in October because I decided I'd have another go with a completely new plant from a different nursery and it came bought it when we were down the judging symposium at Burnham's in Devon so it hasn't gone stale it hasn't had a chance to go stale so I don't know don't know but we shall see if it likes this stuff. I know the others grow well in it, so keep fingers crossed. But right now, I have a dog with really hairy feet, and when it's wet and muddy, it's yuck. So I need to trim out all the hair between his toes so that his feet are easy to dry when he comes indoors, and he'll feel better for it as well. <gasps> but um, I'm gonna leave you on that note because I think I've been rabbiting on for quite long enough. Hope you enjoyed them, and we'll look out for them in the future. So. Take care, stay safe, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.